Hi friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on C++ programming. Today in this tutorial we will learn parameterized constructor. In our previous tutorial we learned default constructor. A constructor is said to be default if it accepts no parameters. But when the constructor takes arguments or parameters then it is called parameterized constructor. To get it more clearly, let's see a programming example. Here I am going to create a class, class student. Inside the class, I am going to create two private members, string name and int age. Next, we declare a constructor in the public section, public. We know a constructor do not have written type, so just write the constructor name, that is student. Since it is a parameterized constructor, so we need to pass parameters. I am going to write here string n and int a. Next we define the constructor, that is name equal to n and age equal to a. Next I am going to create another function that will display the result to the screen. So I am going to write here void display. This function will print the value of name and age. So I am going to write here cout. My name is and here we refer name. Then end of line. Next see out my age is here we refer age and then end of line. Okay, class is completed. So what we do here? Here we define a parameterized constructor and through parameterized constructor we initialize the private member name and age. Next we see how to call the parameterized constructor. Inside the main function, I am going to create an object of class student. To do that, we need to write the class name, that is student, and then specify the object name, let's say S. In default constructor, whenever we create an object, class member or variables are automatically initialized. But in case of parameterized constructor, we need to pass parameters when we create the object. So I'm going to write here John and 27. Next we need to call the display function. So I'm going to write here S dot display. When we run this program, it will print my name is John and my age is 27. Let's check the output. Build and run. As you can see here, it print my name is John and my age is 27. The next thing is here we specify the value at the time of creation of object. But if you want, you can take the value from user at run time. Let's see how to do it. Here I am going to declare two variables, string x and int y. Next I am going to ask user to enter name, see out, enter name, then end of line. We read the input using C in, so I'm going to write here C in X. Similarly, we read the input for age, so I'm going to copy it and paste here. I'm going to write here enter age and here Y. Next, we need to specify here the name of the variables, so I'm going to write here X comma Y. Let's check the output build and run. Enter name, I am going to enter Amit. Enter age, I am going to enter 27. And it print, my name is Amit and my age is 27. That's it. This was about the parameterized constructor. Next tutorial, we discuss about the copy constructor. Thanks for watching. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel, Slide Hunt. You can like my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt and you can follow me on Google Plus at www.google.com slash plus slide hunt.